Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about how to execute your scripts with WebKit in Playwright, WebKit browser. So we already discussed what is WebKit, that Safari and other browsers are developed on top of WebKit. Okay, but by default, you can execute your scripts in WebKit also. Right, so how you can do that? So Playwright, Playwright is equals to Playwright.chrome, oh, sorry, create. Playwright.create and then browser type. Browser type is equals to Playwright dot. You need to mention using WebKit. So we have Chromium. We already saw that. Firefox. We already saw that in our previous video. Now WebKit. So WebKit. Now browser. Browser is equals to browser type dot launch. Okay. And browser context. Browser context is equals to browser dot new context and then page. Page is equals to browser context dot new page and then page dot navigate https dev dot automation testing dot in and then I just want to print the title page dot title and then I will wait for five seconds. Okay. So we already saw what is playwright, uh, playwright dot create, playwright dot. This is the important point for us, WebKit. Okay. Separate browser. So browser type dot launch and uh, page we are navigating to here. So when you try to execute, the script will execute in WebKit browser. So by default, your scripts will execute in what? Headless mode. So now you cannot see any browser. Open and see. So it is downloading some uh, updates related to download. So now it will start to execute your script and it will wait for five seconds and it will print the title. You see that automation testing demo, it printed here, this one. So waiting for five seconds and done, it pass. Okay, so now I don't see any browser. The reason is by default, the execution will happen in headless mode. But I want to see that execution. So for that, what we need to do in the browser launch options, new launch options, new launch option, browser type that launch option, and then set headless, false. If you mention set headless false, now you can see the browser, the execution. Okay. So let me try again and we'll see now you can see the separate browser and it will have Playwright logo with this. This is WebKit browser. You see that? The logo is Playwright. Wait for five seconds and it will close. You see that it printed the title and closed the browser. So this is how if you want to execute your scripts in WebKit, so you can execute. So you see that you are executing the your scripts on indirectly Safari browser. You're executing scripts in Safari browser indirectly. The reason is Safari is developed on top of WebKit and I'm executing those scripts in my Windows machine, not Mac machine. So you can achieve this means Safari also, if you want to test in Windows, you can use this WebKit and you can test. But that is one of the advantages you can see. Right. So this is how you can execute your scripts in WebKit browser. And if you put launch options that say deadless false, then you can see the browser. Okay. This is how you can execute your scripts in WebKit. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share the video and put your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates. Thank you.